It looks like any other snowmobile, but here's the difference. Lock your ears, people. This thing's going to start up. And it's on. Utterly silent because it's entirely electric. Compare that to a regular snowmobile. And you'll see why there's so much interest in this machine developed by a team at McGill University. To us, it was just a challenge to, you know, try it. Most of the work was done here in a small workshop on a campus of McGill University. We didn't have a clue what, what we were doing at all, and we were pretty much shooting for the stars. For two years, they tinkered and tried, but seemed to be getting nowhere. We were getting shot down, even within at the university. Um, there's a lot of projects and all that, and you know the crazy guys with the electric snowmobiles, I mean, they were <laughs> pushed them on the side. And then, finally, everything came together, and the snowmobile was working, a giddy moment for the students who filmed that first outing. The snowmobile is essentially a regular machine whose gas-burning insides have been gutted. Instead, there are 80 pounds of lithium batteries inside, and the vehicle has a range of 15 to 30 kilometers. Well, sometimes, you know, people uh, putting down what you're doing can actually turn out as being a, a source of motivation. Now, we'll let snowmobile is in demand. You still only have one in stock, uh, one machine in stock? This ski hill north of Montreal is looking into acquiring a few for short-haul work around the hill. Our customers, they come here to enjoy uh, fresh air and be, being outside, and they get a little aggravated when we pass by them with a gasoline, noisy snowmobile. More than annoying, snowmobiles, especially the two-stroke engines, are very polluting. Yellowstone National Park banned the two-stroke versions in the 90s, when air pollution levels became comparable to downtown L.A. Come on over here for a second. We're going to talk about how the machine runs, where we're going, how to operate it, okay? So Snowmobile tour operator Craig Beatty has already switched to cleaner, quieter four-stroke engines. Nothing worse than hearing all those guys out there with the big power two-stroke machines with the, the pipes. It, uh, it ruins the, really, the environment of what you're doing. The next step for his company, becoming even greener by buying a few electric machines. The electric snowmobile really plays a major part for that, so hopefully in the next year we'll be able to have one or two machines that might operate for some of our beginner tours. For now, the electric snowmobile isn't widely available. It's custom made for each customer. But the inventors and developers are hoping that that's going to change, that more of these will be available to the general public. They aren't cheap. Converting a regular snowmobile to electricity costs around $10,000, the same as buying a new gas-powered machine. But there are substantial savings. When you're buying an electric snowmobile, you're you're buying upfront almost 90% of your fuel costs because your battery is the big cost. The electricity you put in the battery costs you almost nothing. He's hoping consumers like the idea. Right now they're available. It's like, get in touch with me. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get you what you need. And that the future of snowmobiling will be quieter and cleaner. Nancy Wood, CBC News, Saint-Sauveur, Quebec.